God bless you family. Thanks for joining here on the Simply Uncaged channel. I'm just going to speak as the Spirit leads it, but I wanted to give you guys some thoughts and some tips on how you can recognize the schemes and plots of the enemy. To recognize the attack of the enemy actually before it happens because the enemy is attacking each and every day. It is a spiritual war. The enemy is coming for your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. But imagine if we can recognize the attack of the enemy beforehand. How powerful that would be. We'd be prepared. We would know it when it came. We'd be able to avoid it, to shut it down, and just to move on forward. So again, I'm going to speak as the Spirit leads it, but one way to, to recognize recognize that the enemy is going to attack is, hey, if you're hungry. I know you might have seen that Snickers commercial where it's like that guy that's acting up when it's hungry. Well, it's, it's real. Okay, it's real. When you're hungry, you may start feeling some sort of way. So know that when you're hungry, the enemy wants to attack. He wants to attack your mind. He wants to attack your emotions. So that's just one tip. The second tip is when you're tired. If it's been a long day, you're tired and you wake up, just, just, you know, don't give power to the tiredness. Don't give power to how the enemy is working but just continue to praise God. Continue to give Him glory. Know that you're tired, and so know that the enemy is going to try and, and get you that day. He might try and bring some loneliness that day. Might try and bring some depression that day. Might try and bring, you know, a spirit of overwhelm of all the tasks at work that you're going through because you woke up a little bit tired that day. So just recognize on how the enemy wants to attack. The Word of God calls us to be vigilant, to be sober-minded, right? To have a sound mind. And God really desires us to operate in peace, operate in joy, no matter what we're going through. So a big tip too is to establish yourself in God's presence in the morning, right? To wake up and just establish. It doesn't have to be an hour or 30 minutes, but even if it's just a minute, five minutes, coming before God, because I know we all have five minutes to come before Jesus, to surrender the day, to say, God, this day doesn't belong to me. W what I do today, the task that I have today, it doesn't belong to me, but it belongs to you today, Jesus. So I surrender it to you today. I trust you with it. And I ask you, God, to lead me and to guide me in this day. So that way, when certain things come, when people want to come against you that day, when people want to attack you that day, you just know that you came before the Lord God of the universe who knew your day beforehand. You surrendered it before him. You know that it's out of your control and what you're going to focus on is just the spirit of God. You're going to focus on your relationship with Jesus. You're going to focus on God. You're going to focus on his promises so that way when that thing does come that day, you're already ready. You can recognize it. You can shut it down. It might be right a spirit of depression a spirit of overwhelm, a, fear, a spirit of anxiety, right? Because you got a lot of tasks going on today. You got a lot of stuff at work or a lot of stuff at school. So it's this anxiety and you know that you didn't get the proper sleep or you haven't ate yet. So this anxiety wants to come. You can recognize it and shut it down. This is the power that the Spirit of God gives. It's a process and we just need to continually renew our mind by reading the Word of of God. We need to stay in God's word, stay in his promises, and understand the tactics of the enemy. It says in the word that he walks around like a roaring lion, just looking for you to devour, looking for someone to devour. But if you wake up and, and you're just firm in God's word and you're just not focused on your emotions and just shutting down ungodly thoughts and, and just you're just so firm in God, planted like a tree, meditating on his word, it's going to be so much easier to shut down the, the schemes of the enemy, the attacks 
of the enemy. So recognize how God is working and moving in your life, but also recognize how the enemy is trying to work and move in your life and never give Satan any power in your thoughts, in your emotions, or in your desires, but continue to seek God. Proclaim his promises like never before because there's an uprising of evil, an uprising of wickedness, but there's an also an increase of the out pouring of God's Spirit. That's what it says in Acts 2, 17 and in Joel that the Spirit of God is pouring out more and more in these last days, but the evil is also increasing. So let's be vigilant. Let's be wise. Let's continue to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit through all seasons, through each day, no matter what comes. Let's operate under the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you guys. You have a sound mind. You have peace. You have a spirit of self-control. And know that Jesus is with you always. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you guys for hitting the like button if this spoke to you. Thanks for hitting subscribe. And continue to press forward for the glory of God. Any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll make a video or respond in the comment section. God bless you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. In Jesus' mighty name. Bye-bye.